Hi everybody, here we are with the final round guide in expert division for the North Carolina 9 Hole Cup here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well and good luck this weekend. Please give me a thumb up, make sure you subscribed as well. Totally free, helps me get to 20,000 subs. Plenty of drops and some suggestions of tweaks for anything I didn't quite drop for you in this video, but a very good starting point indeed. So take a token or two, build in some tweaks or find some alternates to suit your play style and clubs. Let's get started with hole number one. Playing with the Grizzly in this wind angle and a Kingmaker, we are going here with a 0.8 backspin and three bars side spin to the left. And we're going to set up at the top of plus five with Grizzly nine, and that would be at plus eight or P3 max with Grizzly seven and eight. And you want the ball guide uh, a couple of green squares short of pin, and it is aiming kind of just about at the pin, maybe one pixel to the left in this example. And then we're going to adjust max plus 20, power two settings. We're going to make two pulls over the bullseye here. Make sure you do the same method so that you're adjusting the same amount of rings. And don't forget, with your two pulls over the bullseye, you've got to use Grizzly 9 numbers here because that's what I'm using in the video. If you're going to use Grizzly 7 and 8 numbers because you have less distance on that club, the calculations will be dis different. So make sure you're using Grizzly 9 numbers. So max plus 20, P2, subject to any wind angle tweaks. Very good chance for a hole in one here on this par 3. On the drive here, we're going to start by finding our position without spin with the quarterback 9 plus. And we're going to have the ball guy just going to the edge of that tree shadow. And you can see there the tree shadow nearest the camera position there. You can see some of it jutting out into the yellow ring. So make sure you've got some references there. Uh, then we switch to APOC and add spin. We're going with five top spin and three left spin here. Then we're going to adjust maximum distance 5% elevation. So max plus 5, power 3 settings. And we're not in plus yards here with APOC 5 plus. So that means we've got a very slow needle. One and a quarter ball curl to the left, full over power. Nice and easy to hit perfect. And we're going to be playing a rings from min shot with our grizzly for the eagle. And we want to drive distance here, getting a nice roll down the fairway in the region of 355 to 360 yards. Second shot, find the min distance line, and then we want to push up rings from min. Adding spin here, going to be around 1.8 to 2 back spin. Depending on your drive, there's 5 rings up from min, there's another 5, and in the end I need 2 more to find the position I want. And that is, with spin added, to have the ball guide there going to the pin and we want the blue ring, the top of the blue ring touching the rough line. So I've gone up 12 rings from min here and I'm going to play this one 15, 1.5% on the slider. We've got tutorials on rings from min and you can get the tables from the rings bible spreadsheet. We've got a tutorial on that as well. So check both of those out if they are not familiar to you. Very good methods and tools to help you drop plenty more shots in your tournament play. Zero elevation, rings from min, hit perfect, and you're going to have a good chance for an eagle here on this par 4. A level crosswind, maybe a couple of degrees of uh, headwind here, so I'm going to recommend the extra mile 9 or APOC 7 plus, and we're going to go max top spin, stretch out, have the ball guide down the middle of the fairway with a berserker, uh, APOC 5, APOC 4 and maybe APOC 6 going to struggle to get the distance here. I tested with an APOC 6 but an extra mile 9 with the top spin is giving me more distance. Full over power, max plus 10. You've got a minor great left and a minor great right here even with extra mile level 9. So that's why I'm suggesting this club because we want as much distance as possible off the tee. Drive distance here we're looking around 430 yards. Second shot, I'm going with the Horizon level 6. If you've got a Cataclysm in high level with all the top spin, you can use that as well. A little bit of left spin, stretching out and finding the position there with the ball guide, showing that it is going to roll out of the rough. 
Um, this is a bit of a touchy shot. Max plus 15, power 5. Regardless of what you pull into, you're going to go full beans. Max OP. Um, heavy great bulls may risk not clearing the rough. If you are worried about that, try with the top spin boost. Um, or, like I said, you could try with the cataclysm as well. But you just want to make sure you're rolling out from the rough. And that is going to leave you an EB school wedge. 20% uh, elevation, power 5. In the example here, uh, I played this one at 76% slider, but always measure the distance yourself. A slider value is where the cup stands between the ball and max distance of the club. 20% P5. Uh, I've got a quick fire tutorial. You can learn this method in only four minutes. That is on the channel homepage as well. Uh, and again, a brilliant tool to help you drop more shots. So if this is a new method for you, Go and check out my Quickfire Endbringer Academy video. But three perfect shots, or indeed maybe a minor grade on the drive, you're still going to secure the eagle there with a nice setup on this long par 5. On the drive here, we're going to go max plus 5, P3, and with APOC 5 plus, top of plus 10 yards, APOC 5 and 6 will have the white ring touching the rough on the right. Four and a half top spin, three right spin. APOC 4 will have half of the white ring overlapping the rough and you will set up at P3 max distance. We adjust max plus 5 power 3 settings. And then after that it will be time to take our shot. No need to push up or anything here. We're going to use some uh, right curl, quite a bit of it actually. Look at the T, drawing a line down would collide with the top tip of the triangle, full overpower with a slower needle, so a good chance of hitting perfect, and it's going to take the dog leg shape of the fairway very nicely, and roll nicely down the fairway, drive distance, you're looking of around here, 399 yards. Second shot, make a fringe check, bullseye over the fringe, in line with the pin, where the fringe meets the green. Plus one with grizzly nine, would equate to plus four with grizzly seven and eight, and the spins I'm using here, it took me a while to find the right spins, but I'm going with three back spin and two bars side spin to the left. And deliberately going to leave the tip of the ball guide short of the cup and in line with the cup on this camera view. You can see there, three back, two left. And there's your ball guide offset. So leaving it about half a green square short of the front edge of the cup. We're going to go 20% elevation, 70% slider for plus 1 with Grizzly 9, plus 4 with Grizzly 7 and 8. Use Grizzly 9 numbers regardless, please, and pull twice over the bullseye. Two pulls over the bullseye. Centering the ball here nicely, having made our adjustment, and then we hit perfect, and the spin will grab very nicely, and we're going to drop this one at the pin for a nice eagle on this long par 4. If you're enjoying the free content here and want to help support the channel, then you can do so in one of three ways. You can click the thanks button directly underneath the video, you can use the PayPal link in the description down below, or you can become a channel member as well. All support of the channel is greatly appreciated. In Tailwind Angle, we're going to play with the Goliath at P3 max distance. Bullseye in the middle of the rough patch there. Don't really look at the yellow ring unless you've got Goliath 9, because other club levels will have different accuracies. We're going with around 3.2 top spin and 2.2, 2.3 left spin, but the focus really should be on the ball guide. You want the tip of the ball guide pointing to the left edge of the cup and stopping. Um, you can see they're a little bit short. Uh, if you've got lower level Goliath, you may have less ball guide, so make sure you check your club stats uh, if that is the case. Then we're going to adjust our rings. We're going max plus 25, power 3 settings. I would recommend you keep the wind below 8 miles per hour because any more than that you may have uh, too much wind push to deal with. So max plus 25, power 3, centre the ball nicely and pending any wind angle tweaks you can have a good chance for a hole in one. I would add a click or two of curl to the left or the right if you get a slightly different wind angle here on this par 3. On the drive here we're going to set up with the quarterback, 
white ring touching the rough on the left at max distance with the quarterback 9 and 10. Then we switch to our APOC bag and add spin. 5 top spin and 3 bars side spin to the left here. Got a nice cross tailwind angle which is going to follow the fairway shape very nicely on this par 5 in this example. So a good chance to position ourselves for a nice second shot attempt for the albatross. 6.6 .6 rings for me with this club level and wind strength. And then we're going to go with a good amount of left curl, about two balls left curl, full overpower with a slow needle speed. Hit perfect and this one is going to curl round the corner very, very nicely, just uh, taking the shape of the fairway and rolling up here along the slope, drive distance around uh, 360 to 365. Second shot, we're going to make a sand check. Bullseye over the front edge of the bunker in line with the pin. That is plus 6 with sniper 10, plus 8 would be the equivalent plus yards with sniper 9. 1.2 top spin, 3 right spin. This needs a little bit of a tweak on the aim, however. Um, so we'll just talk you through that. You can see I'm aiming towards the right edge of the cup here. Bull guide stopping short red ring touching the rough. Uh, for a plus six sand check with sniper 10, gonna go mid distance, that's 50% slider, 10% elevation, that's gonna be one on one. So 8.4 um, rings for 8.4 wind. If you're using sniper nine, you would still need to use sniper 10 numbers. So let's have a look at how this one comes in. Like I said, you will need to tweak the aim based on the amount I missed by in the video, but I like the adjustment and I like the speed. Bounces over very nicely, and we're just missing this one out to the left-hand side. On the drive here, we're gonna set up with our Apocalypse. Plus 10 with APOC 5 and above. APOC 5 and 6 will have the blue ring touching the rough on the right. Uh, APOC 4 will be at P3 max. We're going to add spin, 5.8 top spin, 3 bars side spin to the left. If you've got APOC 4, you will have approximately 30% of the blue ring overlapping the rough because you've got uh, less accuracy, your rings will be bigger. Max plus 10, power 3, making our adjustment now. And then we're going to take our shot. And we want to position ourselves for a near max distance grizzly. Full overpower with a slow needle. In the end, I go with one ball of curl to the left. And we're getting a nice roll out here and the drive distance we are looking for is gonna be around um, 405 yards. Second shot here, I'm going to add some spin first. And you can see there went with one top spin, one left spin. This comes in hot, so I would advise you really, I just do a re-spin here and add a bit more top spin. Probably didn't need to do that. I think, you know, near a one top spin would have been fine. And like I said, this one comes in hot, it drops. Um, but if it didn't hit the pin, it would have rolled past. So I would advise you to go with a little bit less top spin. Um, and have that ball guide a bit shorter. It is in line with the pin though here, and we're finding that nice sticky spot there where the ball guide doesn't really move much when you rock the target to the left and the right. Landing position plus yards, 15% elevation, plus five with Grizzly 9. We're going 92% slider, and we're gonna pull twice over the bullseye. The equivalent would be plus eight with Grizzly 7 and 8, but you're still gonna use uh, Grizzly 9 numbers in this instance. If you are short on your drive and you're using Grizzly 7 and 8, you may uh, need to add more top spin and set up um, you know, a little bit further back according to the lack of distance that you have with that club level. Like I said, this one comes in hot. Tweak it if you like, but it's something to work from and we luckily dropped this one in for the Eagle. Another nasty wind angle here. I'm going to try and keep the wind below uh, 8 miles per hour. We're going to start with a basic ball and we're going here uh, with 4.5 top spin, then switching to a King Slayer. Goliath is the club because otherwise you will pull into overpower with lower level Grizzly in high wind. Second bounce with spin added. 
you're looking at having it one and a half green squares to the left of the pin and slightly low of the front edge. First bounce you can see there is just before the beginning of the fringe. Adjustment max plus 30, power 3, settings. Max plus 30, power 3. And we're pulling over the bullseye. Nice and accurate there. Gives you a nice clear edge to adjust to. Make sure you do the same. Might need a tweak or two depending on wind strength and wind angle. But like I said, something that you can work on. And gives you a good basis to start your prep here on this difficult par 3. With this par 5 again, power 5 ball is best for the chance at the albatross. We're doing no move target with a P3 ball first. Then we switch to a luminary. 5.8 top spin, 2 right spin. The precision isn't a must, but it is helpful on the drive. If you don't have any luminaries, you could try a berserker, but you would need to take a token or two because you might need to tweak the setup or the adjustment on both shots. As we did P3 NMT, we're going to play power 3 settings on this one, max plus 5. After adjusting with APOC 5 plus, I'm pushing up 4 yards. With APOC 4, you would need to push up 10 yards. Full overpower. And then here we are going with just over 2 balls of curl to the right. Draw a line down from the tee would be in the middle of that triangle there as an additional reference to get the amount of curl correct. And try and hit perfect. Minor great right should be okay, definitely with APOC 5 plus at least. And we want to get a drive distance here into 410 yards. Second shot I'm going to play with all the right spin so that I don't pull off the edge of the platform um, if possible. Spin as you can see there with backspin and right spin, yellow ring touching the rough line and here I'm offsetting the uh, ball guide to be touching the right edge of the cup. Plus yards we're looking at here, landing position plus yards, plus 12 with sniper 10 would be plus 14 with sniper 9 and that is going to correspond to 76% slider, 5% elevation and we are using power 5 settings for the approach so make sure you switch in your app. If you were just off the edge of the uh, bulkhead there I would recommend you go with a click or two of overpower, it will happen in higher winds. Take a token or two and refine it if you can but a very good chance there with a luminary for the albatross. Thank you for watching this video on the North Carolina Nine Hole Cup. For more help and free guides, shot sharing and discussion points, join over 12,000 members, including myself, on our free Facebook group. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash. I look forward to interacting with you all there. Good luck in the tournament. See you soon. Bye for now.